I really like these two. They bring a smile to an old man's face. I am the decrepit vagabond, spinning stories out of the stems before anyone can remember, and theirs is a story that inspires me. It's not that you have to be at rock bottom to catch my eye. It's just that it brings out the best in people. The desire to live, to save the ones you love, to save yourself, to make bold choices. Every body becomes a corpse. Every scene has its curtain. What matters is how you dance across that stage. I wish everyone would take that to heart. I mean, really grab life by the balls and live it up. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This guy's frustrating himself, talking in circles. The only thing changing is the steady decline. Doses get doubled, the days get shorter. The end is coming. Everybody can see it. He wants so desperately to do something, and I guess I figured he deserves a chance to rise to the occasion. I'll do anything. Did he mean it? I guess we'll see. He seemed to get the point. It's pretty simple. Miracle cure. Just a drop a day and she'll be better than new. I'm not sure he believed it, but from where these two stand, a leap of faith makes a lot of sense. And so the fun begins. I mean, let's be honest, she was pretty much a dead weight, or an almost dead weight. This is much better. There's a graceful abandon in that stagger. Such kindness in her scowl. Why should she settle? Why should he? He didn't pretend she wasn't pitiful when she was knocking on death's door, and that pity saved her. <laughs> okay, I helped too. But the point is, miracle cures don't always work how you expect them to. The question is, are you going to keep up? What's it going to be, buddy boy? The clock is ticking. You've got my attention for now, but you better keep it interesting. In any case, she looks ready to move on. And can you blame her? The shoe's on the other foot now. You're the dead weight and she's leading the jet set life. Now he's got a choice. Or does he? How's he gonna go clubbing with that cane? So he does what any reasonable person would do in his shoes. He evens the playing field a little bit. There's nothing wrong with preferring the devil you know. Taking comfort in the familiar scene of giving comfort. Not a bad thing, but it's not gonna last. The clock's still ticking. We just uh, punted the problem further along. But it gets better, you see. Oh, no, no, she doesn't get any better. No, 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 she dies. Of course she does, but no tears. She got another shot and she took it. Bravo, baby, you've come a long way. What about the other half, though? The one still kicking. He just buried the past he wants to live in. At least that's what he'd have you believe. Not much ahead for him, but a longer, slower demise. Is that the only certainty again? The having of his days until he sputters off, or shuffles off, or kicks off, or whatever. Dies. You may have leveled the playing field, but you didn't have much of a game plan, did you? At least she had the full vigor of life. A moment in the sun, a chance to shine. To be something people remember. To blossom before she faded. What did you want all along? Was it for her? To heal her? To make her better? No, man, own up! You wanted it for you! Embrace it! You wanted your life to carry on like a perpetual motion machine, the pendulum never losing energy in its swing. A life of having her need you forever. It was always about you. Be proud of that. That's why you couldn't stand her surpassing you of living beyond you. It's time to learn from her example. Let her guide you. Let her save you. Yes, that's my man. Who said the miracle had to only be for her? Drink up! If you can't beat him, join him. Or in your case, buddy boy, do both.